All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Windcraft, but I can only use chess loot. Let's get into it. There's another little loot chest here. Ooh, it has a leather tunic, which could be helpful. A number of emeralds, and another bow. That's good to know. And we leveled up again. Yay! And then we head way over here. Back to Agni, and we find the cook. Hello, cook. Can't believe what's happening. King ordered him to bake cakes. Okay. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the ingredients, and no one sells them here. Could we get him two eggs, one bucket of milk, and three wheat grains? Yes, I think we can, which means we have to head this way, and we're just running, doing nothing. We're getting close. Well, somewhat close. Do we still have two unused skill points? Oh yeah, we do. We found discoveries, yay. Another well chest. That's very helpful. Okay, here's a dungeon. But we need to head over to this little ranch here and not get stuck and killed. Great, healing potions. That will come very helpful later. Another bow. We'll have to see which one's best later. Head up here. Now we talk to this guy. Get that, get that, get that, and get that. Let's see. We're looking for cooking materials. We can slay chickens to get eggs. Bucket of milk. There's a merchant. Wheat grains. Tool merchant. And right-click wheat. Okay, that doesn't look too hard. So... Oh, there's another chest. Here's a chicken. Did we get an egg? No, we did not. <laughs> Takes a few to get an egg. And we need two of them. Ah, here's the bucket merchant. And there's our milk. We now have milk which is one of the things we needed for this quest. Hmm. Okay, three wheat grains. Chicken. So, yeah, right click for grains. And now we are chopping it. And we're level two. That was easy. More here. We need three total wheat grains. Okay, and up to this point we haven't had any problems with it. 
because, well, we haven't needed to do anything with it. But I am only allowed to gather from ch loot chests. Those chests we saw all along the path. That's the only way I can get ma new materials. Like weapons and armor. So, I, because it's just starting out, I can use any of this stuff right here. But after that, I cannot. Oh yeah, we can stick that on now. There's some more chickens. Yay, we have one egg. Um, come on, chickens. Give me what I want. There we go. Now we have two eggs, three wheat grains, and milk. So we can head back to Ragni. Shoot some zombies that are trying to kill us. We're getting close to the next combat level, which is nice. Yeah, so from now on, I can only use stuff I get in here. Mob drops don't count. There we go, leveled up more. Now let's head in to the city again. La -de -da -de -do. doing nothing. Oh yeah, two more skill points. This is kind of tedious, getting anywhere we want to, until we have a horse which we gather at a much later level. So, actually it's not that much later. Yay, we got the ingredients. Here, take the emeralds and armor. Explore the woods to become stronger. There we go. Now we can use this. And we have unidentified leggings. And yeah. So now let's go identify a bunch of stuff. At this guy. Let's see. Can he do this bow? Yes. Can he do these leggings? Yes. Can he do these leggings? No. This bow? Yes. This bow? Yes. 69 emeralds. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. We have iron string. Very strong. But takes away agility. Waste apron. That could be useful. Galaxy piercer. That could be really useful. But then, refined bow, not that good. So, let's go talk to the blacksmith over here. And we want to sell our oak wood, the refined one, iron string, and keep galaxy piercer. And then, yep, that's good. Hey, we got 73 emeralds, and a new bow. Great. So, to wear a waist apron, we need to do the quest, Poisoning the Pest. Which happens to be, oops, which happens to be this way. Hey. Oh yeah, and besides quests, we besides loot chests, we can also use quest rewards. But no mob drops. 
So we head over here to this farm. Let's talk to this guy. Fresh recruit. Okay. His stepfather passed away and got corrupted. And he become an invisible beast. So we have to help him out by poisoning the water up so far. Now it looks like we dump it over here, avoiding that corrupted farmer. Oops, wrong button. Ow. What is going on? Ah, oh, we have to right click it to poison it. There we go, we poisoned it. Now we have to turn on the irrigation system before it can do any damage. Ow, that hurt. Now he's dying. Oh no, trying to get. Eh, anything else interesting? Oh, says we have to kill the pest. What pest? Are there any pests? Look at the body. Oh no, there's pests in it. Well done, we killed two pests. Very helpful for this little guy. Now let's talk to him. Good job. Poor stepdad. Take this reward. We also have a second farm. Nice. Okay, that's good for now. Let's do Sewers of Ragni. Yay, two more emeralds. Doesn't really help us. Actually, there are these unidentified Vikings. Let's see. Darkian scrap. Lots of defense. Okay, that's slightly better than waste apron, so I am going to get rid of waste apron. Sell item. Waste apron. Boop. 24 emeralds. Nice. Wait, tenant needs help. Oh yeah, and see this compass down here? It points to where the next stage of the quest is. So you can see how it's pointing straight ahead now, which is how I know I'm on the right track. Can I wear these? Oh yeah. Boom. Keep going. And we're nearly there. Yay, we leveled up. That's very helpful. Whoa, why seven? Oh yeah, seven defense because of these pants. 
I had forgotten that. Good timing. Requesting help for ages. Blocked pipe. We're gonna need assistance and meet him up the hill. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you look forward to the next video.